Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my finished 20 in 2020. I actually think I skipped last month update because it was... Yeah, I didn't have time to film it, basically. But I do have five empties to show you guys. I'm pretty excited about them. They're pretty huge and they're really amazing and I'm excited to roll in some new products to work on. If you don't know, this is a rolling project that I started in the beginning of the year where I wanted to finish 20 products in 2020. I do think I have finished 14 so far. Some of those comes from the ones that I have rolled into the project. So yeah, let me just show you guys my empties that I am pretty stoked about. Four of them you would know if you have seen my empties for June. If you don't have, this is pretty exciting. It is exciting even though you have seen my June empties. Let's be honest. I have two makeup empties. These two. Okay, the most exciting one of them all for this update. I finished my blush. This was the red blush from the Balm and the Rockstar palette in Vanilli. I'm so happy that this is gone. I don't miss putting on a red cream blush in the morning. So this is pretty exciting that this is done. It took me one and a half year to finish this. That's pretty... It's pretty amazing. The other makeup entry that I have for the month is my Dervis and Lip Twister in Rust. Put this in last update. So it has been like two months and I finished it in like one and a half. So for the last few weeks, maybe just a month, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's definitely done. It's like a darker nude color. But yes, it is completely done. I can't roll, I can't even twist it anymore. This is where I was when I rolled it in. So I finished all of that. And the other products on this I will talk about in a minute because I do have some products that I haven't used at all. Let's take the next MT. This is my W7 Glow It All Multi Glow Serum. I'm so excited that this is done. And I was here last update and this is completely empty. Really excited because I don't miss it and I don't like it and it doesn't do anything for your skin. It just gives a glow underneath the foundation and I'm really excited that this is done. Then we have a body lotion from Rituals. It is the Rituals of Sakura body lotion. I love the packaging. It is so beautiful. But yes, this is done. I wrote this in a few updates ago. Of course, completely empty. And then my body scrub from Maytas Nature, the Nature line, which is organic and everything, that is done as well. Really exciting. Very, very excited about that. It's kind of the same products that I'm rolling in. I have two makeup products and then two body care and one skincare. Just like to do it like that. The first makeup item that I'm rolling in is my Revolution Omega Revolution London Concealer Define. Conceal and Define Concealer and this is the shade right here or the product at least it is in C1 so this is the palest shade if it's, if it's not going to be white and I do have this underneath my eyes and on my chin it has been like 11 hours <laughs> and with this makeup on but this is just a perfect match because I am so pale. I will say when I wear foundation and not only concealer I do mix this in with a little bit darker concealer just because I like that more and uh, it is really highlighting but I have taken out the stopper recently so I thought it was like a perfect uh, product to put in this project. And I do think I can finish this by next update. It's kind of a gimme, but also something that I really want to use up. Not because I hate it, because I really love it and I will probably buy it again. But I don't know what else to put in. <laughs> then we have the Dove Simmer Stroke of Genius Brow Pencil that I'm rolling in. This is the one right here. It's like a micro brow uh, pencil with a spoolie and the product. And I don't have a lot left, so that is why I'm rolling it in. Hopefully I can have it done by next update as well. That would be really amazing to have more makeup empties 
for this year. <laughs> the skincare item that I'm rolling in is a cleanser. It is from Ivy Aya. It is the cleansing mousse. It's, it has like a pump and then it foams out. It is like liquidy in the bottle container. But I have had this open for a year. Uh, almost. I traveled with it last summer. So this is going to be um, used up. And it has just been sitting in my toilet toilet sheet bag to travel with. So I'm just going to use this up. And I'm at that line right there. So a little bit more than halfway. For the body scrub I'm rolling in the only one that I have. It is a small size of the, the Body Shop Coconut Exfoliating Cream Body Scrub. Oh, that is maybe why it's not... Oh, it's because it's creamy. It's, it's a softer body scrub. And I will take pictures, of course. And this is where I am with this one. I just use a little bit on my arms um, and back when I shower. So, pretty excited to have this well done. And again, it is the only one that I have, so it was kind of obvious if I wanted to work on a scrub. For the body lotion, I'm rolling another one in, as I said. It is the Body Shop, the British Rose Body Yogurt. Yogurt? Yogurt? So weird to say in English. Um, this one right here. And with this one, I'm... Can you see? Maybe you can see some windows. I'm like halfway. I really like this kind of body lotion because it's so thin. But yeah, I'm rolling this one in. And I'm excited to work on it for a project. Sometimes I feel silly to roll in this project because I'm working on them anyways, but why not? Okay, for the items that I haven't used and that I'm punching myself in the face that I need to use, one of them has a very good reason. It is the P2 Impressive Deal Cardial Eyeliner in this blue color. It's called Dramatic Blue and I still have a lot left. I'm not helping myself to put in more eyeliners into other projects, so I don't work on this one. And now we're halfway through the year, and I don't know if I can finish this one at all this year. I don't know. We have two months left of the summer, and I haven't used this even once. I need to put it in the body lotion. I need to. And actually do it by next update. So this is the W7 Life's a Beach Beach Body Control Cream, and it is like a shimmer lotion like illuminating and everything it's really beautiful on the skin this product has a good reason because it broke um it is my franken bronzer this is the product right here and the reason that i haven't used this one is because i made a new one of the broken pieces and i wanted to just repress it into something else than repress it all together i i don't know i dropped this one so the top part it fell off like this one it's or oh, it's just crumbled away you know so i repressed it into here with a lighter shadow that broke in my panda palette so i have been using this since then and i have re -hit pan and everything so it's very 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 thin so hopefully i can have this done by next update so i can start working on this again because i really want to have this done by december Oh, I can mark this. This is the W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream in like a pale color called Gilded Cage. As you can see, there are some windows in it, so I'm like down to here now. So I have this much to go and I have just, just used up. English. This used up. I'm, I'm working on it, but I'm trying to focus on the pink one in my... Graveyard project pen, but that is almost done. So I do think I'm going to back to this soon. Oh yeah, this I have used here and there. It is my blush from NYX in taupe that I use as a contour. I have no idea if you can see any progress, but I have used it a few times, not a lot. The dip is still huge, but there's a lot of product in here. Then we have this one. This is a touch and go blemish concealer pencil from W7. I have used this quite a lot and almost every single time I have used makeup but we don't have that much progress. This is the brow pencil. This is how much I have left. This is the P2 eyeliner that I haven't used and this is the lip primer that I will show you in a minute but it doesn't have any visible progress. I have used it a few times this month 
Um, and this is the blemish concealer pencil that I just showed you. I have this much progress, I think. Um, so that is really, really exciting. It could be better. And I thought I had more because I use it so often. Apparently not. And this is the lip primer right here. This much product left. Because it broke from the base. Maybe I am going to use it in my brows as well because you can't do that. It's like a waxy primer pencil. I have a mask from the Body Shop, the Himala Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. So hopefully you can see that it is going down. Nothing major. Really boring. I have used this quite a bit, but you can't see any progress, of course. Um, I'm still at the very big pink line. Last update and I think there's like minimal progress. But it is the Our Moment perfume from One Direction. I have a little bit of progress on my serum from the Body Shop, The Drops of Youth. This much progress right there. Not a lot. I have been slacking about my skincare, to be honest. Okay, this line is like a two, three month line. Uh, because I didn't mark it for last update, but I am down to here now. Uh, maybe a little bit further, but because there is some air in it. But this is where I could squeeze it to right now, at least. So that is where I'm going to mark it for this update. Um, but this is a Neil Shore hand cream that I really, really like. And that I carry in my handbag. With me everywhere. I have finally progressed on my heat protection spray. This is one that I decanted into another sprayer because it broke on the original packaging. Um, so this is the Tresemme uh, heat protection spray and I finally have some progress. I have uh, blow dried my hair a few times so I'm really excited about that progress and I really need to have it done. So I have blow dried my hair like one or two times in half a year. I think that is very good for my hair. It is quite healthy, especially now that I have cut it off, but yeah, I'm excited, very excited. Then we have my lip um, scrub from W7, the Jelly, Just Jelly Crush Lip Scrub in Juicy Blast Berry. This one right here, I don't think you can see any progress, but I have used it a little bit, I think, maybe not. I don't remember anymore. And the last thing that I have some very nice progress on, if I should say so myself, it is the Body Shop British Rose Shower Gel. This one right here, and this is my progress. So when I put it in last time, I was up here, and now I'm down to here. So as I said, it's like two months progress, but I do think I have a chance of finishing this by next update. Hopefully it's not two months again, but I do think I can have a few empties by next update, which is really exciting to roll something new in. And maybe I can even do a finale next time, because if I can hit 20, that would be amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this series, at least. I do think there are a lot of people here. Uh, on YouTube and Instagram that are doing uh, 20 in 2020. I don't think I'm doing one like next year. 21 products is kind of a kind of a lot of products. Yeah, that's that's a lot of product. I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. And on to my next one. Please take care. Bye. <laughs>